Hi guys out there, this is just another installment on my planetary attempts at astrophotography. As everyone knows out there who is interested in astronomy, it's a terrific time to see and, and image the planets. Over in the west we've got Venus, just above that, up high in the north we've got Jupiter, very bright. Uh, a little to the east of that we've got Saturn, a bit dimmer. And then way over in the east... Uh, quite high by about 7 o'clock already is Mars. Very bright and red, can't miss it. Four planets in the evening sky. And also, also the last week or so we've had the Moon join them, and uh, which doesn't affect imaging the planets, of course, because they're so bright. Now, I had a, the most trouble with Mars. Uh, this is, just to give you an idea... This is the raw image of Mars that I've been dealing with. Now, what's causing this is, uh, well, I've managed to find Mars between a few clouds the other night. And um, I realized that the wind was pretty strong. And as you see there, it was actually blowing my observatory around, uh, which was pushing my telescope around. I did cut holes in the floor of my observatory for the um, tripod legs of, of my telescope, but unfortunately, uh, over the years, the um, legs or the, tri or the floor, I'm not sure which, has moved, and now the, uh, the legs are actually touching the floor. So just walking around in the observatory or... You know, as I say, the wind here, this is what happens. Okay, as you might know, I'm a beginner at astrophotography, although I've been interested in astronomy since I was 12, which is over 50 years. Um, but it's only in the last, really, you know, few weeks that I've got into astrophotography. And so, don't be too critical. These are my first images of the planets. Here's Jupiter. And here down below it and, and to the right we've got one of its moons. I'm not sure which one. Usually we see four through the telescope, of course, unless they're behind or in front of the planet. But uh, this is one of the, of the moons of Jupiter. And here I've just uh, turned the planet and the moon around a little to get them, you know, looking sort of the right angle aspect. And... Uh, just to add a little bit of interest and try and bring out some detail by using a filter. Here we've got Saturn. Um, now on Saturn here, we've got that grey band on the outside ring. That's the A ring. And then the bright white one just inside the wider one. That's the B ring. And inside that, of course, you've got the crepe ring. And it's interesting to notice, this is a true colour picture of Saturn, and you can see that there's a bright white band around the equator. And just above the planet, oh, the planet's sort of a oh, deep sort of reddish colour, I suppose. Quite different colour to the rings. And you can see also the um, shadow of the planet on the rings at the back. Here's the similar, a similar image taken the same night, the 2nd of July this year. Uh, the ones of Jupiter were taken on the 1st of July. Here we've got Mars, the one I had jumping all over the place in the raw file. And this is what I finished up with. You can still see some features on the planet, although I did have a fair bit of trouble with Mars. Here's a different image on the same night, and that was the 7th, oh sorry, the 6th of July, so just the other day. And we got, I tried to bring out some detail on this image by processing in photos, and um, did bring out a couple more features and the uh, the polar regions, of course. And but we did end up with a little bit of green fringing around the outside. 
And then the moon was around, so I took a few of the moon as well. Now the large feature up at the top is the Sea of Crisis. And large crater to the left, Cleomedes. And down and to the right, you've got the uh, Sea of Tranquility, where Apollo 11 landed. One small step for a man, and one giant leap for mankind. Yep, I'm strong and Aldrin. I watched that about 3 o'clock in the morning in the UK, it was. The 3rd of July. Uh, as you see, nice crater rims there, crater peaks. Have a look at your moon globe. Tell me what craters they are. A little job for you. And here's a nice picture of the moon. Very rugged surface there on the limb, as you see. Craters, mountains, and valleys. I hope to improve my planetary astrophotography over the next few weeks, so keep you posted. Thanks.